How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be featuring the Vermont, the legendary tier American battleship. Um, well, in this one, Vermont, honestly, still using Hoshino. Actually, I don't think I've uh, featured a video in Vermont since my last one, which was pre-buff Vermont, which kind of needed Hoshino to make it somewhat playable, especially for Legends, uh, I guess, meta of Bow and Reversing and I guess DPM being kind of the uh, thing you need while you try to out DPM other uh, Bow and Reversing battleships, uh, well, by shooting their superstructure. Vermont uh, just doesn't quite have the, uh, the same vibe that it does on PC where, well, for one, you have good concealment there, and uh, it's a lot easier to position yourself to get crossfires uh, in Legends. Obviously, having uh, three spawns left, right, and middle, uh, generally trying to get those broadsides uh, is going to be kind of difficult unless they're, you know, the enemies are flat broadside just like this Des Moines is. And, um, well, pretty accurate salvo, especially because we're building into Sigma. We do absolutely smash the Des Moines, 47,000 damage. Des Moines has, what is it, 50,600. So unfortunately, just under what we needed to uh, remove him from the match. Obviously, if you were using New Jersey, you probably would have, well, deleted him and he would be back in port. Um, but there is a trade-off, obviously, using New Jersey. You do huge damage whenever you get citadels. And you also have drill bits on top of it. And then, well, you also get, what is it, 7% dispersion or something. Whereas Hoshino, you trade the accuracy and that extra damage for reload. So we're sitting at about a 30 second reload. And as we take damage with one of the skills Hoshino has, well, your reload just keeps getting better. We also don't have drill bits, so we can actually... Well, I don't want to see sail around the map quickly. This thing is still very slow, even without uh, drill bits, but it's not as uh, unbearable as it is with drill bits. Because with drill bits, you're sailing at like 22 knots, the same speed as stuff that uh, Tier 5 does, which is pretty painful, in my opinion, as the Des Moines that got away is spotted again. Unfortunately, our shells tried to get a quick shot off over the island but we don't finish him off enemy vermont just sitting in spawn uh, but we're gonna keep pushing because there's not really a whole lot of room for that des moines to run away to and if we're able to finish him off enemy team you can specifically see their middle spawn it looks like they kind of just bow and reverse away or are trying to kite towards c so there's not a whole lot of uh issues with being focused if we do keep pushing and if we do turn in once we get around the corner of this island we can honestly angle towards the middle and still shoot at the enemy vermont while uh, minimizing all the damage that is being taken so pushing here being aggressive honestly won't be that big of an issue getting spotted by sonar we know that des moines is uh, very near not sure if he bowed in on the island but we do know he didn't turn out to kite, otherwise he would have been spotted and we wouldn't be sonared. Uh, being sonared though does kind of suck because it does ruin the element of surprise. Potentially catching a Vermont or really anything and then uh, removing them from the match. But considering we're staying spotted, I have a feeling Des Moines is basically trying to use this island to hide. We're going to keep pushing around the island. If he decides to go towards A, well we have to technically three teammates behind us who can probably finish him off as uh, he tries to run away we have a line of sight on vermont but we're gonna hold our shot because well the last thing we want to do is shoot vermont des moines comes out with uh, all of his guns ap or something and uh, takes more health from us than we really want to although it wouldn't be the end of the world because with hoshino we do have six heals uh through fully packed and master mechanic and then on top of that, we will get better reload and turret reverse for losing HP. Des Moines trying to run away towards A. But uh, yeah, there's basically no escape for him. And Des Moines is finally removed from the match. Kind of surprising though. We 
actually pushed pretty far. We're leading our team in this charge, which is kind of amusing considering our ship is still very slow for a uh, battleship at this tier. And, uh, well, we're still pretty far ahead of our teammates, but good thing is that we uh, are angling at minimizing damage. And at least they'll shoot at me instead of our teammates, because part of me feels like if they were to lead the charge, they probably would die pretty quickly. But, uh, yeah, being aggressive and actually having teammates support you will probably help you win more matches than not. Friendly Worcester charging out. Vermont trying to uh, delete the cruiser. Getting a little greedy here, trying to uh, use his rear turrets, possibly on the Worcester. Uh, but actually, it turns out it was me, but I'm also getting greedy to shoot all of my guns with the spotter plane. And uh, yeah, broadside Vermont. You never want to go broadside in a Vermont. Even though it's uh, pretty thick, its uh, citadel is pretty vulnerable for most battleships at legendary tier, and even some cruisers to just absolutely smash. And uh, well, there goes the Vermont. Now the enemy team has basically just run away. And you can see even their middle team has gone towards C. We have all the objectives. And uh, well, we're trying to get into the cap to maybe give us a little more XP, but we're still very slow. We're not really gonna get there. Seeing the positioning of our teammates, both the ones that have pushed with us, but also the ones that uh, have been kiting from C and actually been doing a pretty good job of surviving considering that their whole team is on that side. Uh, well, we want to keep pushing north into their spawn because we're assuming that once the battleships or all of their ships that are at C cap C or push through, they're going to turn in towards B and trying to be in their spawn north of B is where we could possibly get a bunch of crossfires and then, uh, well, basically give us a bunch of damage and uh, more fun in this Vermont match considering we've been uh, trying to sail around the world in like 80 days or something. But anyway, continuing north into their spawn, we also uh, see on the minimap their destroyer is out in the boonies all the way in the corner and um, yeah luckily their destroyer didn't actually play the objective because well if he did probably would be a lot worse for our team and maybe even worse for uh, for us to keep pushing because well obviously a battleship charging in leading the charge all alone especially without sonar is gonna be a pretty uh, juicy target for a destroyer and well, luckily there's only one and uh, yeah, he's in the bottom right corner. He at this point is not near any of our teammates and uh, yeah, I don't think uh, they're really going to be able to have any help from their friendly destroyer and uh, is basically useless at this point. So we're not gonna have to worry about anything. We're just gonna keep pushing, trying to continue north because those two battleships in the top right corner have actually not been spotted for a very long time. I feel like if the uh, battleships had actually already turned in, probably would have been spotted by our friendly cruiser that's with us, but since they didn't, I am assuming they are still pushing around, possibly the very outside of sea, which, uh, yeah, not the greatest plan for... Uh, the enemy team as some of their ships are actually near objectives but the ones that are extremely far away just simply aren't going to be able to help enemies start getting spotted and kind of as we predicted they're trying to push through sea and also i guess technically trying to uh, get all of our ships that are actually at b so them trying to angle also having their guns on the right side of their ship they're going to uh be angled towards them and also broadside to us. Unfortunately, our salvo at that Yamato doesn't really do a whole lot, but uh, yeah, we're about to have some juicy broadsides. BA Montana, GK, and a Yamato all just sitting there at sea, trying to survive against our battleships that had actually turned in and pushed directly to B from A. Obviously, taking the scenic route, trying to get these uh, broadsides is gonna be a pretty good idea uh another somewhat disappointing salvo on a relatively broadside montana but uh 
Yeah, they are just trying to survive against the battleships in the middle. And they're just trying to bow in reverse away. This just gives us a whole lot of uh, opportunities to uh, smash broadsides. GK, basically stationary. Kind of a good target. Probably could have shot the BA Montana. Tried to uh, Citadel him again to remove him from the match. But there's just so much damage to be done with three battleships. Basically just sitting there flat broadside. And also... Well, Hoshino having the 30 second reload, probably 29 seconds now that we actually took some damage. Um, all of the battleships actually looking at me, trying to focus me since I'm all alone. Uh, it's kind of a good thing, just so we get a better reload and can actually smash them quicker. We take a pretty hit, uh, pretty big hit there, but again, six heals, not the end of the world. Montana gets absolutely nuked. I think Yamato was a little worried about being death struck by a Vermont, so he decided to go broadside to the battleships in the middle and got death struck anyway. Kind of unfortunate if they were, uh, I don't know if I should say a little more intelligent and just stayed angled towards the ship that was uh, closer to them. Well, they probably would have survived a little longer, but also would have uh, given us a little more damage to, uh, to do and possibly have reached our... I guess first uh, 300k in Vermont considering a full HP Yamato just got removed. Uh, it is unfortunate but it is what it is. Vermont sailing around the flank and still somehow in front of our whole team that had actually pushed with us. Yeah Vermont leading the charge very very slowly. It's uh, kind of interesting. Not sure. I want to say I want to keep using Hoshino. But obviously, New Jersey is also a very good choice. I don't think we would have been able to push as quickly with New Jersey and possibly lost a lot of the uh, opportunities to smash broadsides. But luckily, we uh, have the reload. And I guess another way to make up for the DPM that uh, New Jersey would probably have as we have probably the worst looking salvo in this entire match that we've shot. Enemy battleship, full HP, running all the way to the corner. It's uh, another Vermont. I want to say that that Vermont was one of the battleships that spawned in the middle. But I also want to assume that that person is using New Jersey, trying to make use of the, uh, I guess, base trait of staying 10 km or further away. Just for that little extra damage. And then having drill bits on top of that. I guess he was very, very slow to even get around the outside of uh, of C. And considering that we went from, I guess, the bottom right now to the top right. We've sailed around half of the map, whereas he sailed around a quarter of the map. But, uh, yeah. Maybe that's the difference of having drill bits and not. But definitely not how you want to play at Vermont. Although we do know that's how most... You. They kind of assume they can just sit as far away as they can, hope for people to just charge in at them. And, uh, well, I guess they hope things go broadside so they can smash. But, uh, yeah, clearly that didn't work for the enemy Vermont in this match. And, uh, well, for us, having Hoshino being able to push, but also having uh, some special enemies that turn flat broadside. And, uh, well, we got to dev strike them. But also, game ended a lot closer than I thought it would considering how quickly we smashed our flank. Uh, but I guess it also has to do with the fact that we couldn't really push in as quickly because it is a Vermont. I feel like anything else, Ohio maybe, maybe even Montana, probably be smashing just as hard. And, uh, well, we'd be a lot quicker and I guess reaching those crossfire positions sooner and probably could have saved some of our teammates. But... It is what it is. Vermont definitely is a lot better after the buff. And honestly, still using Hoshino because, well, 30 second reload is pretty spicy. Actually, I think it's slightly under 30 at its base. And uh, as we take damage, it goes below. And then all of a sudden, we actually get two useful salvos. Well, useful is a stretch, but two salvos with our spotter plane. But yeah. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more and share with your friends or leave a comment down below on other ships you want to see in the future. But till next time, aloha.